hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video we are going to learn how to extract all the details of hyperlink that is added in this head section you can see if you look at this url then you can see link and then rel and then href you can see href language and we may have other parameter as well so in this video we are going to learn how to extract all those parameter from this link urls so if I just choose first one and if I say copy selector then press ctrl f then you can see it says head link and child number four so I don't want to use child number four I'm just going to use head link that's going to be my row selector of html.table so let me show you how just go into the data tab click on this web I need to copy this thing first press the link and click ok and once this is loaded choose html code option and uh, that is this one click on the transform let me copy the selector again copy selector that is actually this one so let me copy that so what i'm going to do use this html dot table and then the second parameter is column selector that is going to be list of list and then third option is options and in that option we have a option for row selector so my row selector is going to be this head link okay and column selector is let's say call one okay and the condition would for this select just anything right let's run this so if i just run this you can see that i get all of this blank because there is no text for those link all right so what i'll do i'll just add third parameter for this one and that is attributes one so it's a each underscore so it each element of this link so i'll just put underscore to just see what we have in this each so if you look at this then it says it's a record we have a tag name we have a text content we have attributes so if you don't specify anything then it just return this text content which is empty string and that's why we see all of those blanks now what i'll do i'll just say attributes okay so each and then attributes now if i just say attributes now we get a record and another record right and if you look at this then this has this rel keyword and then href and this one has this href language so we have all those attributes of that particular tag so we have all of these attributes right now we can do just expand this instead of like you know putting attributes rel to extract the rel then other one another one you can just use this way so just expand this and now you can see it's extracting rel href href language and show one right i think you can just load little more then you can see all of these options right so you can see we have a relation we have href we have href language we have media we have onload we have sizes we have type so instead of loading each property one at a time you can just use this way that put this each underscore and then choose the attributes property and then you will get those data so that's how we can extract all the metadata of a specific tag element using html.table from power query that's it for this video let me know if you have any question or suggestion have a good day